When you've got award nominations, you've got snubs. The Emmys, no different. Hey guys, I'm Melissa Salvatore for 8012. The 2015 Emmy noms are official. Let's go through the three biggest snubs and try to come to grips with why they didn't make the cut. Any of the lead actors in a drama that didn't make it won't matter. This is John Hamm's award to lose. We also can't call Big Bang and Jim Parsons snubs when one or both has been nominated or won the last six years. Okay, now, let's go. At number three, Ellie Kemper's breakout performance in The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt had her predicted by everyone from Entertainment Weekly to Variety. Despite a 78 Metacritic score and getting more viewers than House of Cards, she was snubbed because of a classic Emmy tendency to go with what you know. I guess catchy theme songs don't count for anything. At number two, double lead drama, actress drama. Kerry Washington and Juliana Margulies didn't make the cut for Scandal or Good Wife. Basically, because there are newer toys in the box. Those perennial contenders were bumped for Taraji P. Henson and Viola Davis. All four of their shows orbit around these ladies and all basically have the same IMDb rating. But Empire broke almost every viewership record imaginable. How to Get Away with Murder was right behind it as the second highest rated new show on TV. Cookie and Annalise prove ratings trump familiarity. At number one, The Americans. All of it. How does a season that gets a 92 on Metacritic not score for best drama? No lead actor for Matthew Rees? No lead actress for Carrie Russell? How? Right, nobody watches it. The season finale drew 1.2 million viewers and some episodes dipped below a million. Can't vote for what you don't see. Catch you next time on 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Make sure to like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. First, I already said it, now you don't have to.